Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and right now a lot of people, more so than ever, are extremely interested in building their own parts caster and getting their dream guitar for a fraction of the price of maybe a custom shop or a higher end Fender equivalent. One of the shops that people happen to be on the fence about, it looks like, when I'm reading the forums, is MJT. Now, I can speak from first-hand experience of having my own custom Telecaster body built by them, so I thought I'd give you some insights on how my experience went, my thoughts with the finished product after having it now for about five or six months, and whether or not I would recommend them to everybody or not. Now, the first thing we're gonna discuss here is the cost. If you get what I get, which is pretty much the highest end that you're gonna be able to build, that's a Swamp Ash Double Bound Telecaster. I think it was $585 list price. That's, what else are you gonna get that has a nitro finish on it in any color, in any kind of age specification that you want? It's gonna be hard to do in that aspect. The second thing that should be considered is the amount of time it will take after you make your order to actually receive it in your hands to be able to build your guitar with. Now, a lot of people complain about this. They say it takes forever. I can't believe it. There's no communication. Well, there's a few things that go into this. First of all, when I ordered mine, I was given extremely accurate, detailed information on when I could expect this guitar to be finished. They weren't shy about telling me it was gonna take a while. I think they told me anywhere between 10 to 12 weeks and they delivered within that time frame. And when you consider that a lot of people are going this route right now, building guitars because it can be, you know, a little bit cheaper and a more customizable high-end wood, it, you have to be able to consider that they're still doing a really good job in that aspect. As far as the communication goes, anytime I sent them a message, I had something back within, you know, two or three days, which is, you know, not the best, but it's not anything worth complaining about. There are times where I've reached out to companies and I haven't heard back for weeks. So take for that what you will. Now, when I ordered this body, I ordered a very uncommon finish in the Taos Turquoise, meaning I didn't have many options unless I wanted to spend brand new on a custom shop version, and that guitar would have cost me around $5,000, so this seemed much more appealing. However, I have Fender Custom Shops that have nitro finishes on them. I have this guy that now has a nitro finish on it. Let me tell you one thing, if you are considering this and you don't like guitars that will relic quickly, this will not be the brand for you in my humble opinion. I normally play and I have my, my hand right here kind of sits over the top of the body of the guitar. Now on my Jazzmaster, it's very evident that I have this habit, but it took a long time for that paint to really start to wear off and get down to the bare wood. On this guitar, I haven't even had it six months. I don't play it every single day and it's already started to happen. So it's something that's kind of giving me a warning flag of this guitar is gonna age and this guitar is gonna age fast and it's gonna age hard. If you're into that relicking thing and you wanna get there kinda quick, if you're gonna be taking this guitar out, it's gonna be your number one, you're gonna be gigging with it, it's gonna age rapidly. So if you're somebody who wants it to be a little bit more of a gradual process in that aspect, I find that you know the Fender variants, although more expensive, unless you get one of the really thin skin ones, that's gonna hold up a little bit longer before it starts to really show some of that aging on it. Whereas the MJT, it seems like it's just waiting for everything to just kind of naturally relic on its own. So my final verdict on MJT refinishes are, first of all, I'm probably in the minority. Most people that are ordering from MJT are ordering things with a much higher level of relicking on them. So obviously their tastes are different than mine, but if you're somebody who really wanted a custom color, that is hard to find, like the Taos Turquoise that I have on this specific Telecaster. Not a whole lot of options, so maybe I would consider going with Warmoth or really holding out and having either a custom shop near you, do some research, see if there's anything like that that can do something that might hold up a little bit better, or waiting and spending a little bit more on a custom shop, or just getting the whole thing to begin with the way it is from the factory. The resale value is gonna be better on top of that, and well, it's just, it's just not gonna age as rapidly. So I actually just sold this guitar. I'm gonna pack it up right after I finish shooting this video, and. I'm not going to give up on Telecasters, it's just I was so worried about this one aging so quickly for my taste that I decided it wasn't going to be a good fit for me personally. But 
like I said, there are pros and there are cons. I just wanted to give my perspective on both. But I have nothing but great things to say about the people that work there. Everyone there was really nice, really responsive. And if I ever grow that taste to have guitars that are pre beaten up for me off the line, I will definitely be giving them a call in the future. That's all I have for you guys today. Tomorrow is a product demo for the Mesa Boogie amp that we received. It's finally here and I'm really excited because it sounds awesome. However, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what your experiences are with MJT or any other kind of body makers that you guys may have gone with in the past or are considering going with in the future. Other than that, I'll see you then for that Mesa Boogie. Take it easy, you guys.